Cycling is a great sport. They say it's the greatest invention of all time and I tend to agree. I suppose I should know because my family's had a bike shop since 1860. Here he is, the one who started it all. He obviously was some sort of cyclist because he's wearing his traditional cycling cap. Hello Jeans, my name is William Pearson and I'm a director of Pearson Cycles, which is a cycle company established in 1860. My brother and I are the fifth generation to run the shop. It is the world's oldest bike shop. In 1860, my great-great-grandfather, Thomas Pearson, moved from Cobham to Sutton to set up a blacksmith's. Very quickly, he got a reputation for mending people's bikes. People were riding bikes around that time, and when they broke, the natural place to go to was a blacksmith who could repair it for you. I think times were particularly hard. They weren't a particularly wealthy family and with nine children, all those mouths had to be fed. All the children lived just in two rooms above the blacksmiths. I think they shared that space with all sorts of rodents, rats, mice. As the popularity grew for cycling, he decided to turn his hand more to bicycles exclusively and that's when the shop was first created. In the 1890s, Harry, who is one of Tom's sons, naturally progressed into take over the business. People didn't really know about bicycles too much, although they were becoming more and more popular. It was still a fairly alien thing to, to get on. Often the, the older generation didn't really have any experience and they needed to be taught. So Harry would do lessons for not only the kids, but also adults as well, just to get them going and up and running. And of course, if they could ride, then he would get a sale. Harry, by all accounts, was very hard working. He rarely took a day off. They say that he actually never took a day's holiday. I'm sure his wife was very pleased about that. I think that the business was really their life. So in 1946, when Harry died, he was literally at the shop counter only hours before his final transaction. During the Second World War, Harry had passed the shop on to his sons, Arthur and Len, who ran it together. Bicycles were really important because of the rarity of fuel. Cars were only really used for VIP journeys and absolute necessary journeys. So the bicycle was really a form of transport that was hugely important to the war effort. During the 50s and 60s, my father and his brother were now on the scene. My father Roger was very keen on cycling and he would do a lot of racing and would always encourage us to ride bikes. I don't think I actually had a new bicycle until I was about 10 or 11 and we were given bikes that he had repaired and we basically rode them all day long, pretty much every day and whenever we could possibly do it, when we weren't at school or at clubs or activities, then we were on our bikes. In the 90s, our father became ill with cancer. It's a real shame that my father isn't here today. Unfortunately, he died 15 years ago of the illness that he had. He was pretty much cycling up to even a couple of days before he died. I had managed to take him out on a tandem and he had a lovely time. And then I think what we should do is perhaps bring the seat angle forward a little bit and then Maybe change this to the new type. It was a natural progression for us to move into the shop. We always felt in the back of our minds that there was this very interesting business that we had great passion for. There's no great pressure for the children to take on the business. If they did, it would be fantastic. We'd love it. If it can go on for another five generations, fantastic. Bring them on. How old were you when you learnt how to ride a two-wheeler? Why don't you tell us in the comments boxes below?